Welcome back. Today we're going to play 10 minute games as normal, um, as we often do. Uh, let me switch my overlay. And yeah, today I think I will play Central File Rook come hell or high water. It seems like fun. Good luck. Here we go. There it is, Central File Rook. Did I forget to turn the volume of my speakers down? Yes, I did. Um, there we go. That should be better. Um, Alright, so... Let's play our king off to the side here. And not forget to use the bishop. And oppose this even though we don't really need to. Um... So yeah, there it is, central foul rook. We don't need to move our king too many times in this opening. And then after the opening phase, uh, fun stuff happens. So already, right off the bat, our opponent is asking us a question. Um, hmm. All right. I like my answer. This answer looks interesting. Okay, so they surround this. That's not going to last, you know. Um, okay. So they're putting their king over here. So I know exactly where to aim my pieces. Um, worst case, if they use the bishop here, I can drop a pawn. And we're back where we started. Best case, I still have the pawn in hand and can attack quite aggressively, I think. Um, this looks fun. What in the world is going on this game? This is amazing. So... Um... I mean, normally we are supposed to drop back the rook. It's not a terrible idea here. Yeah, let's get the rook back. And... I don't really understand what they're doing. But fine, we can block the rook for one tempo. And it's now not blocked anymore. So we built Jaime now. Um, and yeah, this I think still looks okay. I might be sacrificing a pawn here. Um, but their king is in the center of the board. It's not a bad position for me to exchange things. So let's do this exchange. Um, that's amazing. What is going on this game? So if I attack immediately, what happens? Lots of things happen. Um, if I pin this pawn and then attack, that looks just as convincing, maybe even more so. Okay. So now if I kick the silver, I can break this open, but the king has escaped. Um, hmm. Interesting. Well, they have a knight. I don't want to fuck up here, but... Um, yeah, this is curious. So they have thoroughly blocked me on the center file. I should be able to tack over here without much of a problem. Nanafumi. Hmm?
I just attack like this, right? So you have a rook, I have a rook, I have a bishop, and my attack hits first. So, yay me. Oh! Okay, thanks for the game. Um, I was happy with my position, but not that happy. Uh, but okay, we'll take it. Good luck. Get the king out of the center. And yeah, this looks fine, right? Um Okay. Um interesting. think this is safe enough? I could be mistaken. Now, I could hit this, but usually I get in trouble when I hit that. Yeah, this is no exception. Um, let's build our castle. Following our mantra of our last couple game reviews is don't forget to build the castle. So, yep, okay, I offer this pawn if you want it. Actually, no, I'm not offering it, really. But I did manage to blockade my stuff in a way that's not very pleasant. Um, but hey, I've got a castle. And it's a decent castle. Right. Then we can drop back and not get forked. And, okay, they spend a tempo over there. This is not a bad place for me to spend a tempo either. Oh, right. So there's this thing. Um, I'm still okay here. So this invites the night attack, but... I think I'm set against it. I can drop my bishop back and hit the rook, so yeah, they don't want to go there. Um, if I had a pawn, if I only had a pawn. Okay, we can threat to scare this away. Um, I can also spend a tempo here sensibly enough. Uh, I don't really want to move anything next to my king, but I kind of have to. Um, so this looks okay, I think. We're still burning Tempe. Alright, so... Unless I've missed something, I can just attack this directly. Okay. Um, so this is the transition move. This is where my castle is weakest until I play my gold up. So now I've solidified this castle. Don't really want to move my knight next to my king. OK. 
Okay, that's interesting. For reasons. Um... I think this is safe. I'm not totally sure. Yeah. Central File Rooker bust today. That's the motto. <laughs> It might not suit me well, but it might suit my temperament for today, so, you know, I have to take that into account. Um, but yeah, we get some really cool tactics if we play this opening, so that gives us some motivation to play it. Um... <laughs> yeah, I'm confused what they're doing. Okay, we're gonna try this. This looks dangerous as anything can be here, but I mean, I have to try something. Um. What have I missed? I feel like there's something I'm something critical that I'm not understanding about this.
I guess that's the detail, isn't it? Um... Thump boom. It all started with this pawn drop here. Okay, there. That's not their best move. That's decent, but. Nifun. This sucks. Yeah, well, oh, well, I'm gonna pretend I didn't see that now. Well, I kinda have to see it, don't I? I guess they missed this? Or just straight up underestimated it? Ippun. No, no. Maybe. Well, let's check. Whatever, you're not taking this one, probably. Oh, I just hung my piece. I'll check that out. Alright, it's fine. It's not. <laughs> 
Uh, we got a lance. I should probably use the lance. Because this knight's too slow. I am not thinking, in case that's not clear. Um, I had a knight, didn't I? Thanks for the game. Yeah, no, he's trying to flag me. Until the very end there, maybe this was, this gold drop could have been a legit made an attempt. I don't know. Good luck. The London system of shogi. Who doesn't enjoy the London system? <laughs> uh, well, yeah, we got something going on here. Our opponent is not defending this corner, so I'm attacking this corner. Hopefully that makes sense. Um...
This might have been the wrong square for that. Um, Interesting. Hopefully this is not a massive blunder to push this pawn. Um, oh, I was thinking that pushing this would allow my rook access to 5-5. Five five. When, if you think logically, it does exactly the opposite. Um, interesting. This is interesting for multiple reasons. Let's explore one of them. <laughs> like, okay, where was the knight going next? Did I miss something here? I know there's a plan here somewhere. I just... Like, I've lost the thread with my crazy rook move. But, um... Yeah, this is an interesting game. Okay... I take there, they take my bishop. So let's exchange this first. And then take here. Now they might j try to zigzag their rook to activate it over here. If I move my bishop immediately, they bring the rook over and hit my bishop. However, if I drop something else... I can't predict their every move anyway. Um, hmm. Oh, I could drop a knight here just to be a dick. That'd be weird. But then I'm threatening a silver drop, but they drop on the square to prevent me from dropping there. So... Yeah, my initial idea of dropping a silver encourages this rook move. Which is not bad for me. Uh, if I attack the rook directly, they could hit this. I could drop a silver. At that point, they exchange. They've achieved sabaki, which is not what I want to see. If I push this pawn, the silver moves. Um, oh. Uh, this is spooky. They got one silver in hand. Okay, let's do something about this silver before we figure out the rest of this. So this is currently protected. We can make it hang. So it seems reasonable to force the silver to hang. Or rather, they can just drop another silver uh, right next to their already impressive castle. And I can drop a silver of my own, go playing out in the middle of nowhere. Just not great. Um, no, I can activate my rook. There we go. I found a solution to activate my rook and not worry about whether they activate theirs. That seems acceptable. If this silver moves, I have this nice fork, so they're not moving this one. This one could move, but then, like, this is prone. So... Okay. I forgot pieces promote in this game. Can you believe it? Alright, so... That gets me every time. 
Let's go back. And then I guess activate the bishop this other direction. You'd think after I promote a piece, I'd remember that pieces promote. I could have taken the silver. Maybe should have. Um, I don't know. Okay, if I drop the silver, the bishop can take. Let's not do that. <laughs> um... Shogi's hard. Okay, first of all, my bishop's not active, so let's fix that problem. And let that somehow help us solve our other problems. How's it gonna work? I don't know. We'll figure it all out, but now they have one fewer defensive piece, so it's probably fine somehow. We're threatening a bishop drop. I'm threatening another bishop drop that seems more consequential. Um... Yeah, this one looks interesting. It's because then I can hit the rook. Among other things, I could sack for this. But probably best is breaking up the castle, which this clearly does. And will give me another general to attack with while their king is prone. So that's not bad. They'll probably move this gold. I guess I should take the gold and drop a silver back here. King takes, rook takes, I don't know. Wait, why do I have to take? Captures aren't mandatory. I could drop more pieces to continue attacking. Oh, they don't even bother defending. That's a novel strategy. Um... Interesting. Interesting is the most neutral word for this. Um... A gold is worth more than a pawn, so let's try it this way. They could drop both bishops to keep my dragon away. But... Um, I don't think that ends my attack. So now I'm threatening to fork their bishops. Although that's not smart. I should just use my other pieces, yeah? Uh, let's see. I've got too many good moves. Let's 
let's start with this one. Hit the castle where it's most vulnerable. No, no, no. That's the wrong piece. Well, it's fine if they drop a pawn, but uh, if they drop it back here, they've surrounded their own king. Um, but they had a better try. Should not have gambled on them playing a bad move. Um, anyway, here we are. I don't know what to do against that. Square Gap Dragon is a pretty strong shape. Nifun. Oh, I can block here. <sighs> I missed that block. This would have been epic if I just played the right moves. Um. Now it's going to be painful. One <laughs> I have a mate in one threat. Also mate in three threat here. for the game. It's taken me a while to appreciate that these pieces at the top of the board, um, I apologize, that we don't have the final score there um, due to a DNS issue. But yeah, the pieces uh, in my opponent's hand get smaller and smaller the more pieces they have. Uh, it took me a while, thanks to other streamers, I think it was uh, Shogi Explained for pointing out that overlay difference between my hand and the opponent's hand. 
But yes, uh, today we got to play Central File Rook in three games. Got three very vigorous games played. And, you know, if I were in the mood to play this way every day, perhaps um, that would be a good thing. But clearly, regardless of what I play, I still have more to learn. So hope we enjoyed that, and we'll see you next time.